Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I am sharing 30 healthy habit hacks with you. The first one, when you wake up in the morning, make sure that you drink water straight away. Next, if you do struggle with drinking water, but you don't like the flavor for some reason, add some fruit into it to make it a little bit tastier for you. To get extra nutrients into your day, make smoothies or make fresh vegetable juices. If you don't have enough time to make fresh smoothies in the morning, simply freeze or refrigerate the ingredients so they're ready to go. If you want to go for a walk but you have nowhere to hide that big lump of keys, take off the keys that you need to get into your apartment and attach them to your shoelace and make sure you do a double knot so they don't come off. If you're feeling sore after a workout, have a bath with some Epsom salts in it. Cleaning can burn way more calories than you realize, so make a little cleaning routine for yourself and make sure you're doing a little bit every day. When you're going for a walk or a run, you can increase the intensity of your workout by adding in some little exercises. Find a park bench, do some step ups, some box jumps, or maybe even some dips. If you're making a protein shake, add the water in first and then the protein so it doesn't get stuck at the bottom of your shaker. It's easy enough to exercise every day, but where I see a lot of people fall short is with their meals. So a good way to get around this is to meal prep. It will mean that you'll have a healthy option around a lot of the time and it can save you a lot of time and money. Add some spices to your meal to get your metabolism firing. If you're doing steady state cardio or something that's boring, you could study or watch YouTube videos. Just have something that you can read or look at while you're doing it. Instead of counting calories, I would recommend tracking your macronutrients and your micronutrients. This will give you a lot better look at what you're actually eating. I know that this one won't be a popular one, but it's to ditch the coffees and cut back on as much caffeine as you can. Caffeine will fatigue your adrenal glands, so I personally don't like to drink caffeinated drinks. Same goes for things like pre-workouts. If you can, swap your pre-workouts for something like a beta alanine. It will still get the blood pumping through your muscles, but you won't get a crash from it. Foam roll as often as possible, once a day if you can, it will help release your muscles and they won't become as sore after your workouts. Make being active a more regular part of your lifestyle, so play with pets or kids or just get out and active more often, play a sport, something like that. Get more sunshine in your day, a little bit of sunshine each day can actually help boost your mood. If you're going to go dine out at a restaurant, it's a good idea just to check up on what they have on the menu online so you can plan beforehand. As I said, food is one of the biggest battles, so have some healthy snacks prepared to take with you just so you're not feeling inclined to go and get junk food on your way home or when you're out. Drive less and walk more. Wait 10 to 15 minutes after a meal before you go in for seconds. Take some time to relax. It doesn't matter what this looks like for you. For me at the moment, it's been making myself a cup of tea, putting on a face mask, and then destroying some civilizations in Age of Empires 3. If you really have to have dessert, then swap out the dessert for a healthier option. For example, this is a banana ice cream, so I took some cold bananas, some cinnamon, and some vanilla, combined that in a food processor, and then popped it in the freezer, and then we could eat that later. Having a trainer or a training plan will help you get better results because it means you're following a plan consistently. At Eat Run Lift, we offer online personal training, and we also have downloadable training plans for you. If you're constructing something like a salad for lunch, separate the wet ingredients from the dry ingredients. Static stretches like these ones are best kept for directly after you exercise because your muscles are warm already. Whereas stretches like these ones, dynamic stretches that are involving movement, are best before you work out. If you're doing a home workout and you want to add a little bit of extra resistance and you don't have any weights available to you, a good thing that you can do is make your own weight bag. Take objects that have the weights listed on them and then you can pop them into a backpack and you can use this for things like curls or go for a walk with it on. 
To help reduce bloating, try and stick to the least processed foods that you can get. So a lot of fresh fruit and a lot of fresh vegetables, legumes and nuts. And we're finally at number one, and that is to get a good night's rest. So stay away from the electronics and the blue lights from your screens for about half an hour before you go to bed. And if you are plugging your phone in with an alarm, make sure it's not in a reachable distance so that way you actually have to get out of bed in the morning to turn it off. I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye.